Welcome to the Knowledge Catalog and this video is going to define what a research problem is and is not. The first characteristic is it identifies the need for something. A good research manuscript is going to identify the research gaps, things that were not discussed yet by previous literature and studies. The second thing that describes a research problem is that it indicates the absence of a value, such as indicators of competence, say for instance, in research, or presence of something problematic, such as the presence of a broken spiral in the teaching of mathematics in junior high school. The third indicator is that it is a definite expression or statement about a concern, a condition to be improved, or a difficulty to be eliminated. The general and specific research problems of a research manuscript is going to give us the idea of what is the broad description of the problem and its specific contributing factors. The fourth characteristic is that its background is based on the history of an existing problem with reference to older research. So the importance of the relate review of related literature and studies, be it foreign or local, is being emphasized in this part. We are not going to accept any research problem that didn't have any prior study or any related study. The things that don't scream research problem are the following. The first one is that anything that states how to do something, something that explicitly say how to accomplish any particular thing is not a research problem. Say for instance, how to, get, how to get high grades in mathematics, that is not a research problem by itself. But if we are going to turn it into something like a good question, perhaps some study habits that will make a student or help a student have greater grades or higher grades in mathematics, that is a research problem now. The second characteristic of things that don't define research problems is all men are more intelligent at math because not, a research problem will never be offering an ambiguous or a broad proposition that is too difficult to prove or even to test. The last one is that it is it doesn't present a value question. Say for instance, how is devotion defined? Or say, what is the importance of, say, self-respect or respect in the workplace? Those things are value questions. They are v questions of morality and they are things that we cannot really directly or explicitly test or describe numerically because they change like from time to time and from person to person. Um, these are things that don't really have this fixed definition. So we can't have a research problem or we shouldn't have, we shouldn't consider a research problem that talks about these kinds of things that are too abstract. This is the knowledge catalog and I think that you have heard that it's quite raining in the background. So please keep safe everyone and please stay at home as much as possible. possible. Goodbye.